I, I believe that uh, the government and the uh, imported, I mean, shall I say, the independent marketers have had meetings uh, time and again repeatedly to try to see that prices are comfortable with profits and prices are comfortable with the people. How far has those meetings gone to ensure that the right price is set and people are comfortable with it and can afford to actually buy petrol? The engagements are ongoing. The engagement I'm going is not closed out, but I'm sure that we're going to get the landing very soon. So moving forward now, how soon do we expect that these fuel queues begin to disappear? I can't hear you. How soon do we expect the fuel queues to begin to disappear? By this weekend. That's very clear. GMD has made that commitment and we'll, we'll make sure that goes away by the weekend. Because people are concerned at, at also. The, at, least for the major, at least for the major crisis areas, yes. Because that's the same thing that was said previously, and uh, that didn't happen. As a matter of fact, the situation is now worse. So what guarantees are there that the GMD of the NNPC and his team will be able to get people to buy fuel and clear the backlog, clear the vehicles at the filling stations? Yes, we have done abnormal things in the last uh, three to four days, which is to increase loadouts from the depots, from the, from the ordinary level of about 1,000 trucks to over 1,700 trucks in one day. So the impact of that will be felt uh, within the next two, three days, and that's why we're confident that uh, it, will, it will ease out. What do you make of this um, intending meeting where the GMD himself and the Minister, uh, Minister of State for Petroleum, Ibe Kajuku, uh, will be appearing uh, before a Senate committee uh, on downstream uh, petrol, petroleum sector to try to resolve these issues. What do you make of that meeting and what would possibly come out of that if people were still lying, queuing up at petrol stations? It's very welcome development and that will give us opportunity to look at the entire value chain from supply to, to distribution to the pump to transportation to prices and to safety issues. And we know that this, uh, this meeting is very welcome. Uh, in the sense that it will give us opportunity to look at some of the issues that you have raised in this, uh, this program and, and ultimately to find very, very lasting solutions, including all facets of the, of the business that are, that are in contest. Because uh, people are still we looking at the space. Yeah. People are looking at this space and uh, looking at how the developments have come up to this time. Uh, does it really speak well of the NNPC, for instance? People are speculating on that. Say, for instance, if the GMD himself have to go about filling stations to try to see that people who hoard products are being reprimanded. What do you think that uh, should be the right approach to this? Should the captain himself be out in the field? I, I think you have to look at the... We have to take a holistic look at this situation uh, in the sense that NMPC's responsibility is the, is the provider of energy of last resort. We have to guarantee that. And therefore, NNPC is involved in the entire value chain. And we cannot watch, sit down and watch when things are getting bad, irrespective of the fact that some of the things that GMD is doing today, by, almost by uh, providence, we are doing it as if we are the uh, regulate, regulators. That's completely unavoidable in a situation like this. But what will change all this equation is to make sure that all the uh, issues around the entire value chain are addressed. There are so many issues from the supplies, as you have pointed out, into distribution, into some form of uh, uh, illicit and of scrupulous activities that many people can conduct. And this that requires the involvement of every stakeholder from the security agencies to the regulators, to NMPC, to the financing houses. So that at the end of the day, you have a system that will address all these issues. If that's, that's not done, you, know, we ca you cannot avoid the situation where this GMD has to go out to, to demonstrate to the, to the country that yes, we say they are holding, and you can see clearly there are issues of holding. There are stations that are not known to anybody, not known to government, not registered, they are dispensing products. There are stations that are, have products, they are selling at prices that are higher than the market price that is allowed by, by, by government, and so on and so forth. And therefore, in a situation like this, you know, the intervention of the government of is completely necessary and is unavoidable at this, in this situation. Because a lot of people are seeing this as a last-ditch effort to try to see that people get this uh, product. What assurance, or should I say, can you assure Nigerians that the pump price of petrol will not increase? The government has no intention of increasing the pump price of petrol beyond the 145. 
Okay, Mr. Kiari, is the NNPC taking on too much? There are those who are concerned that instead of strengthening the DPR and the PPPRA, the NNPC is taking up their responsibilities. I think somebody has to step forward. In a situation like this, I'm sure that every Nigerian holds NNPC responsible for this situation. So yes, we are not the regulators, but we have, a, we have a responsibility to support every institution of government to make sure that we bring this to uh, to, to, to avert this situation. Are you, impli that really are you implying that the DPR and the PPPRA have failed? They have not. We are collaborating with them. We are, we are working with them together, as you, have, you must have seen. The DPR, the, the Civil Defense, the PEF, and the, and the, and the Department of Petroleum. So we work together. It's, so, it's a team. Okay, so what, what do you think about the submissions by in, from some quarters that these two departments need to be strengthened and allowed to run? What should be done? I think they are exactly doing that. They are strengthening. They are, they are working on their own. We are, we are not. Uh, we are not running DPR. We are not running PPPRA. We are not running PPEF. So they are regulators, and we recognise that, and we work with them to support them, and to also seek their support where we need it. Look at this scenario, for instance. If you pay the independent marketers what you owe them, about two billion dollars, do you think that this situation that we're always running into? we we'll clear once and for all? No, NMPC does not owe the, NMPC does not owe the, the, these companies in the sense that these are trade debts, that they are not expecting a repayment, except you are referring to their, the, the repayment for the subsidy scheme of the past. That's a different issue altogether. That's no, no, because, because the MoMAN the secretary was here with us. Uh, the MoMAN secretary was here with us yesterday, and he alluded that you actually owe them uh, $2 billion. So. If that money is paid, or is he lying? I'm, I'm not really sure. But if that money exists and you pay them back what you owe them, would we stop having fuel crisis in our country? No, he didn't lie. What, what it means, no, he didn't lie. What he meant is the payment for the subsidy uh, claims of the past. That's what he meant. It's not about this uh, transaction that we have with them. Do you have the capacity as government to pay them? Yes, government has taken every necessary step to make sure that payment is done. Today is before the National Assembly, and I'm sure that within the, the shortest period of time, they will be paid. Okay, and so uh, now the, 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 you, have, you seem to have cleared the air in a lot of areas. Uh, do we hope that uh, we'll begin to get petrol in Lagos today? Because the queues are just so much, just driving from, from home to work. I saw that the queues are, have increased even beyond what they were yesterday. Are we having that assurance that, say, for instance, half of that will be cleared today in Lagos? Yes, it's, it's very possible because we have increased load out into Lagos. Like I told you, we loaded about 1,700 trucks yesterday, and uh, a great part of that will be uh, a domicile in Lagos. And I'm sure that Lagos station will abate this by this evening. I want to thank you so much indeed. As you are aware, Mr. by yesterday, the queues, are, were very, the queues were very small yesterday. I'm afraid And it's, uh, practically uh, zero in some today. locations in Lagos yesterday. Thank you so much, Mr. Mele Kiari, the Group General Manager, Crude Oil Marketing Division of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC. Thank you so much for talking to us.